In this demonstration, I will show you how to connect to the Smart Web Server, how to select a gateway, and how to join a Zigbee device into the Zigbee network created by the gateway. The first step is to connect to the Smart Web Server. Select the connection. The host section, you can type in the DNS name or IP address of the Smart Web Server. Then you press connect, and as you can see, the green bar is indicating that you have a valid connection to the Smart Web Server. The next step is to select the gateway. This round drop down box is showing all the gateways connected to this Smart Web Server. We select the first gateway. Then the next step is to open the Trust Center. The Trust Center manager is managing which devices is allowed to join the Sigma network. If the attribute address of the Sigma device is not in the Trust Center, then it's not allowed to, to join the network. Therefore, we will insert a attribute address for Sigma relay. Uh, and now we will put this inside the Trust Center. The duration is the joining window duration. You can insert 100 seconds, meaning that now the joining window is only open for 100 sec seconds. Then we press Authorize Device, and we can see here the transmit telegram to the gateway, and the receive telegram is the acknowledgement from the uh, trust center. You can see here that this device has just been inserted to the trust center. The network address is still FFF, meaning that it hasn't joined yet. Then we received an update message saying that this device has now joined the network and it's got this network address. The next is that the gateway is uh, exchanging encryption key. Then the developer relay will search for the time cluster on the gateway. Then there is a device announce from the developer relay saying that this device is a mains powered device. Here we have like battery driven devices or mains powered devices. The battery driven devices 